Lesson 12.8 is recursive sequences. This is level three. It really builds off the level one and two. It just adds one little part to it to make it a little bit more complicated. So we know our first term is 10. We're trying to find the fourth term in the sequence. And we have a pattern or a rule here that says to find any number term, you're gonna have to take n, so the number of term times that a sub n minus one, which means the term before it, adding three. So if our first term is 10, we're gonna to have to find the second term next. So our n value is two. That's what we're gonna sub n, is n is two. So to find a sub two, <clears throat> it would equal, replace n with the two, times a to the two minus one plus three, which that means two minus one is one. So it's two times the first term adding three. Well, the first term is 10, so two times 10 would be 20, plus three is 23. To find a sub three, you're gonna do that again, where now your n value, you're gonna sub in a three. So you would have, not two this time, but three n for n, three times a, well, three minus one would be a sub two plus three. So you're taking three times the second term, which was 23, plus three. Three times 23, well three times two would be um, 69 plus three would be 72. And then a sub four, you would be now plugging in n is four every time you see n. So it'd be four times a sub four minus one, so a sub three plus three. So it'd be four times the third term, which was 72 plus three. Four times 72, 288 plus three, you get you 291. So the fourth term in the sequence would be 291. So again, just be aware that anytime you see n, it's just the numbered term that you're trying to find.